Hey guys, another update on the solar panel charging system I got going. Um, this is the second update. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to, you know, play around with it much, but I did get some done. Um, let me show, turn our camera around and show you what I got going. So out of the um, three packs I had of batteries that I acquired, um, I found out I only had six good ones out of all them batteries. Um, they were used and I just, I, that's why I acquired them. But um, so out of these, these are the six that are good here. I got them running all in parallel, um, not series like the last video. But as you can see, they're all wired negative, negative, positive to positive. Um, they're, for now, they're just wire nutted together. Um, this is just a temporary setup. I know, I know there's no fuses in it and there should be. Like I said, this is just temporary setup to see if it works. Um, I was watching another YouTuber's video, which I found out I was doing wrong, um, as how as I had it wired. I actually had the charge controller hooked up. I only had it hooked up to one battery rather than separated like it is. Um, you know, the negative on one side and the positive on the other. Um, apparently that's how you're supposed to do it. And I was just hooking it up to one battery and thought it would just pull from the rest when you're actually only draining one battery at a time that way, or I shouldn't say one battery, but you're not draining them all equally then. But this way it's draining them all equally and charging them all equally. Um, so there's that, I got this the charge controller up and running. You can see my batteries are at 13.1 volts right now. Oh shoot, let me try to get that stabilized for you here a little bit. Um, you can see that the panel is, the solar panel is charging the batteries right now. Um, and you can click through here and see it's got the temperature and it reads the temperature of the batteries just by this little sensor right here. It isn't actually hooked up to the batteries. Um, we're only charging at about 0.5 amps right now from this panel because of a real cloudy right now. We're not getting much sun. And then there's other, other settings are, you can hook up a load to this controller if you would like. How many amp hours the panel has produced. And this is, since I've been playing around with it, this isn't just today. Um, you can set load to when it's supposed to turn off and when your, this is when your panel is supposed to turn off. Um, when the, the load can turn back on. What voltage you turn, turn the load off of. How many amp hours or how many hours the load has been on. And that's that with the menu. Um, I'll go into more detail with this. I'm just giving you a real quick overview. It is working good though. Um, I, I bought another meter that actually shows me uh, the voltage in amps. Um, that way I don't have to go through the menu. Um, it's just another gauge to see if that's putting out close. I still got to get a, an amp clamp meter to make sure this is all these gauges are actually reading correctly. Um, I cut up a piece of wood here to sort of mount everything to. I'm going to make a little box for it. Um, I got a little inverter. This inverter I've had forever. It's just an old Radio Shack thing, 350 watt, just something to test with. Um, but it does work. You can turn it on. And you see it powers up and got 110 volts out of there. No, I'm not plugged into it right now. But anyway, this is just a quick video to show you that the system is working. I want to play around with it some more and obviously hook it up correctly, get fuses in there and the proper connections and whatnot. But my, my project is this isn't the batteries that I'm going to be using. Um, this is uh, just temporary just to make sure everything's working. My, uh, the future plan for this is once I build it, you know, get it all built is to actually charge my camper batteries while I'm out camping. So that's kind of my plan that I'm going to do with it. So, but for now, like I said, this is just testing, make sure it's working and figure it out myself, you know. Um, but I guess that's all I got for now. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.